Two Squadron symbolises our shared air power heritage between Britain and Canada. This Spitfire LF-5B has seven confirmed air victories to its name. It served with number 402 Squadron during 1944. Among many other operations, 402 took part in the Dieppe Raid of 1942. During 1944 it was involved in Operation Overlord, the Allied landings in Normandy and the Arnhem landings. In total, during wartime, it flew 10,504 sorties for the loss of 47 of its pilots, including 36 who were left killed or missing. It was credited with 49 enemy aircraft destroyed, as well as five V-1 flying bombs. And one of two aces notched up by number 402 squadron. Squadron leader Jeffrey Northcott flew this very Spitfire himself with another unit, number 501 squadron. 402 Squadron is still active in today's Royal Canadian Air Force, flying the CT-142-8 trainer, generating new combat air systems officers and airborne electronic sensor operators for the modern-day RCAF. Representatives of the RCAF's history, the de Havilland Canada Chipmunk of the Shuttleworth Collection, and the de Havilland Vampire of the Norwegian Air Force's Starlight Squadron, both in Canadian colours. As for the Spitfire we've just seen, it forms part of the fighter collection at Duxford, one of the preeminent collections of airworthy Second World War and pre World War II aircraft in, the, in Europe founded in the 1980s by Stephen Gray, and it was in the hands here of the great Norwegian warbird pilot Rolf Meum, former Royal Norwegian Air Force fighter pilot, and for many, many years one of the leading lights on the warbird scene in both piston and jet engine aircraft. Drink and the fridges will follow the back. <laughs> <laughs> 
Levant. Traditional, you really like very attractive, Levant. but also very practical curved approach being flown by the Spitfire and the Spitfire visibility in such yeah. airplanes. Sand. Not the best. One of your samples flying. A very poor view over the nose, so curving into that, keeping the runway in sight for as long as possible before rolling out. And also with uh, a crosswind now from his left onto uh, the tarmac runway. A relatively tricky landing, well inside of the crosswind limitations, but uh, the tailwheel aircraft, the centre of gravity is behind the main wheels, which means the aircraft always wants to rotate and go tail first. Beautifully done there by Bronze Mill, who last displayed at the Air Taxi in a mid-15 back in 1997. <laughs> Because we're now going to bring our next display aircraft in. It's operating from its home base at RAF Marham. I'm sure many of you, therefore, will know full well what this is. The very cutting edge of UK combat air power. Both for the RAF.